Time having arrived for Monday, December 22nd, 2014, 8 o'clock. I hereby call the City Council to order. Please salute the, the flag. I pledge of allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, before we start the agenda tonight, uh, we lost a good friend of this body's and this city's. Uh, Richard J. Sergi. Mr. Sergi, of course, was the former executive director of the Housing Authority. Uh, he was a, a, a good person, a true gentleman. He loved the city of Brockton. And uh, I will uh, I always remember he called me uh, a week ago and thanked me on behalf of the entire city council. Uh, he was uh, going through a battle that ultimately cost his life, but he was tickled pink that this body would recognize his years of public service because he did it for the right reasons. He did it to better the lives of those that live and work at the Brockton Housing Authority. There was a memorial funeral mass today. Councilor Paul Stadinsky, a great friend of Richard, uh, was a pallbearer. Uh, he was at a Lady of Lords. Uh, many of us were there. That's my home parish, and I've never seen the outpouring at an event. They were all standing uh, up in the choir loft. Uh, and that just speaks volumes for how people felt about Richard Sergi and Mr. Sergi. Um, so if we could take a moment of silence and, uh, and give our last respects to Richard. Uh, and again, honor his family, his fiance, Joanne Donovan. I know uh, he's looking down right now saying, you guys don't have to do this, but we really do because he was that type of guy. May he rest in peace. Amen. Thank you, counselors. <clears throat> Mr. Clerk, agenda item number one, please. The appointment of Philip Griffin, 19 Emory Street, as a member of the Brockton Redevelopment Authority for a five-year term ending January 2020. For the Finance Committee. Appointment of Craig S. Andrade, 48 Thurber Avenue, as a member of the Board of Health, three-year term ending January 2018. Also referred to Finance Committee. The appointment of Robert J. Pelagi, 942 West Chestnut Street, as a member of the Planning Board, for five-year term ending January 2020. That too referred to Finance Committee. The reappointment of Gerald Smith, 107 Darren Drive, Brockton, Brockton Redevelopment Authority, for five-year term ending January 2020. Also referred to Finance Committee. We have the report of the Audience Committee for its meeting of December 15, 2014. That is accepted and placed on file. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of December 15, 2014. Also accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Mayor submitting a letter of resignation of John F. Kelly <coughs> as an alternate from the Brockton Council on Aging. That is accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Mayor submitting a letter of resignation of Paul Red Sullivan from the Brockton Planning Board. That too, accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor requesting the City Council to accept a proposed four-year phase in towards inclusion of retired teacher health insurance costs in determining net school spending compliance commencing fiscal 2016 as specified in section 260 of chapter 165 of the acts of 2014 for the BPS. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the fire chief requesting that the city council accept and expend the fiscal 2015 mass decontamination unit grant in the amount of $4,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Public Health. The fire department <coughs> intends to use these funds to man the upkeep of the mass decontamination units and purchase supplies. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That's also accepted and placed on file. We have an ordinance <coughs> amending chapter 11 of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton be ordained by the city council of the city of Brockton as follows, chapter 11, section 11-162 in council October 14, 2014 referred to the Standing Committee on Ordinance, passed to a third reading by a hand vote October 27, 2014. In Council, November 10, 2014, Council Dubois motioned to refer back to Ordinance Committee, properly seconded, motion carried by a roll call vote, taken by yeas or days, nine members present, five vote in the affirmative, and the report is favorable. Questions on a passage to a third reading by a hand vote, Councilors. All in favor? All opposed? passes. <laughs> we have a transfer of $10,000 from the Parking Authority personal services part-time salaries other than overtime, the purchase of service building and grounds $7,000, and from Parking Authority personal <coughs> services part-time salaries other than overtime to electricity $3,000, 
to cover costs of repairs to pay stations in the B lot and the replacement of electrical panels in the garage and to cover the anticipated shortfalls in electrical costs <coughs> due to increased usage and rate hikes. And Council December 8, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. Council's question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. 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 Transfers hereby approved, Councils. Order that pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A and one half, the <coughs> City Council accepts a gift from the Brockton Library Foundation of 29 high efficiency windows for the West Branch Library Building. For the Finance Committee Councils. Order that the City Council accepts the four year phase and towards the inclusion of retired teacher health insurance costs and determining net school spending compliance commencing in fiscal 2016 as specified in section 260 of chapter 165 of the acts of 2014 for the Brockton Public Schools. For the Finance Committee Councils. Appropriation of $4,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Public Health to Fire Department Fiscal 50 Mass Decontamination Unit Grant. Fire Department intends to use these funds to man the upkeep of the mass decontamination units and purchase supplies. Councils, on this, uh, Chief uh, called me tonight. He's feeling a little under the weather. He wanted to be here tonight. Uh, it's going to be referred to Finance Committee, and he'll be here at the next Fed call. He wanted to wish everybody on this body a Merry Christmas. Councilor uh, Yaneri. Councilor, uh, Mr. President, if I might, I have a, a late file, so I'd like to have a motion on that. Second. Motion made properly second for a late file. All in favor, please raise your hands. All opposed, motion carries. Thank you, Councilor. The appointment of Lawrence Raleigh of 8th Athens Drive, Brockton, is commissioned of the Department of Public Works for a three year term ending December 2017. Councilors, that's referred to Finance Committee. Councilors, a uh, couple, uh, couple pieces of information I want to share with you uh, before we conclude tonight. Uh, first of all, uh, I did make a donation, and I hope people during this time of giving will consider, again, the volcano relief which Councilor uh, at Large Rodriguez and the Cape Verde Association is ongoing. It's really a worthwhile cause and they, and they need help. So please consider that during this time. Uh, I also want to uh, publicly thank BCA, Brockton Community Access, uh, for doing the weekly shows. As you know, this is my last uh, <coughs> night before you as a council president. I wanted to publicly thank them. Also, councilors, I just wanted to uh, keep this in mind as we go into the next uh, legislative session. As you remember, a few weeks ago, we had the mayor and we also had the interim police chief here relative to an appropriation request of $310,000, and we debated it. And one of the things that was represented to us, promised us, I'd like to say, was that code enforcement would be brought back on immediately. Uh, that has yet to occur, counselors. Uh, the former code enforcement, uh, and I say former because Officer Scott Ulmer is no longer the code enforcement agent here in the city of Brockton. There is none, which, uh, in my humble opinion, doesn't make any sense. Uh, so we need to address this, and as a councilor at large, I hope uh, that we'll be able to take this up immediately coming into the next legislative session. The city of Brockton needs a code enforcement agent, and we have promised that as a legislative body. Uh, councilors, I also uh, want to uh, take this moment again to thank you, each and every one of you. Uh, it's been really a pleasure and an honor to stand as your president this year, 2014. I want to thank our great clerk, uh, Mr. Tony Zioli, our legislative council, attorney Mark Gilday, Robin Sullivan, who's here uh, on our, on our uh, city council nights. Uh, and on finance, uh, when we're as a finance committee, all 11 members, of course, we have uh, Anne Marie Raymond, the assistant <coughs> city uh, auditor. We have uh, Karen Kenny, who is the secretary of finance committee. Um, without these people's uh, hard work and dedication, we would not function the way we function as a legislative body. Uh, so again, I want to thank you all. It, it's my second time in nine years serving as a council president. I did it in 08. Uh, it really is uh, uh, time well spent. I, I really uh, think going back to last January when I said we have three new councillors, Councillor Lodge, Shana Bonds, Councillor Lodge, Moses Rodriguez, and Ward 7 Councillor uh, Shirley Azak, I said at that time we have a good mix of, uh, of some rookies and some veterans leadership, and I think we really have done some good things. Uh, we debated, uh, we, we spoke out when we needed to speak out. I think we need to continue to do that, and again, in my opinion. But the budget season uh, was the way it should be. We dissected it, uh, we, we analyzed it, we debated it, and I'm proud to say that I was a council president this year. And I really just want to thank you because there was a vote taken last year and uh, each and every one of you participated in that. So again, I want to wish you and your families uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, 
and let's continue to do the people's work and uh, represent the best interest of the people that put us in the office, the constituents, the taxpayers, the city of uh, Brockton residents. So again, I want to thank you all, and uh, God bless you all. Mr. Thank President, you. Mr. President, moment of personal privilege. Sure. On behalf of the City Council, I'd like to thank you. You did a great job this year and a very, very tough year to be in that chair, and I've been there before. I know what it's like. I want to thank you. On behalf of the Council, you did a great job. Thank you. Mr. President, moment Councilor. of personal yes. privilege, please. Absolutely, Councilor. I, too, want to echo my fellow councillor's statements and just say I think you did a wonderful job this year, and I appreciate your leadership, and I hope that you'll just keep it up as a regular member of the City Council next year. Thank you, Councilor. And I did, I, I did say this uh, in November. It's, uh, it's really a great thing to have Michelle Dubois, a diligent member of this body, for nine years. We came on together, and she's not leaving us. Uh, she is uh, also going to be serving a dual role, going on to serve the state representative up in Beacon Hill. And as any, anybody that knows uh, over the nine years, uh, Michelle does her homework, and she's going to continue to do that uh, to represent, is it the 10th Plymouth? Yep. The 10th Plymouth District, which is East Bridgewater, West Bridgewater, but more importantly here, the city of Brockton. So good luck up there, Councilor. Thank you. Uh, we are going to be going into caucus, Councilor. So again, not executive session, right? okay. happy holidays, and we'll see you next year. All right, this meeting's adjourned.